Welcome to the RCC podcast by Richards Commerce Classes. In this podcast we will understand the basic concepts of economics and the two branches of economics that is microeconomics and macroeconomics. Meaning of economics, economics is a social science. The origin of the term economics lies in the Greek word oikonomia which means management of the household. Economics deals with the economic aspect of human behavior. It deals with how human beings satisfy unlimited wants with limited means. Let us understand the nature of economics with respect to some popular definitions. Kautilya's views on economics. Artha means wealth and Shastra means science. Artha Shastra implies the science of acquiring and managing wealth. Key points based on Kautilya's views. 1. Crucial role of the state or government. 2. Focus on creation of wealth as the means to ensure welfare of the state. 3. Need for efficient administrative machinery for good governance. 4. compilation of political ideas into artha shastra adam smith's wealth oriented definition of economics classical economist adam smith also regarded as the father of economics has given the wealth oriented definition of economics adam smith defines economics as a science of wealth key points of adam smith's definition 1 laissez faire i e non intervention of the government 2 capital and wealth accumulation 3 nature's law in economic affairs 4 division of labor as an aspect of growth theory alfred marshall's welfare oriented definition of economics key points of marshall's definition 1 study of an ordinary man 2 economics is a behavioral science 3 study of material welfare 4 economics is not simply a study of wealth lionel robbins scarcity oriented definition of economics economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses Key points of Robbins definition: 1. Wants are unlimited. 2. Means are comparatively limited. 3. Wants are gradable on the basis of priority. 4. Means have alternative uses. Branches of economics: In 1933, Sir Ragnar Frisch coined the terms microeconomics and macroeconomics. These terms are derived from the Greek words micros and macros respectively. Part A: Microeconomics. Micro means small. Microeconomics deals with the behavior of the individual variables such as a household, worker, firm, industry. Kenneth Boulding's definition of microeconomics: Microeconomics is the study of particular firms, particular households, individual prices, wages, incomes, individual industries, particular commodities. Basic concepts of microeconomics: 1. Want. In common language, want can be referred to as a need. In economics, want denotes a feeling of lack of satisfaction. This feeling enables the individual to satisfy his want. Characteristics of wants: one wants are unlimited, two wants are recurring in nature, three wants differ with age, four wants differ with gender, five wants differ due to preferences, six wants differ with seasons, seven wants differ due to classification of wants. Wants can be classified in the following ways: one, economic and non-economic wants; two, individual wants and collective wants; and three. necessities comforts and luxuries the next concept of microeconomics is goods and services anything that satisfies human wants is termed as a good it has material existence services also satisfy human wants but do not have any material existence next part 3 utility capacity of a commodity to satisfy human wants or want satisfying power of a commodity is called utility part 4 value value has two approaches in economics value in use and value in exchange Value in use is usefulness of a commodity. In economic language, sunshine has a high value in use. It is an example of free goods. Value in exchange refers to the worth of a commodity or a service expressed in terms of another commodity. What are diamond paradox of values? Some commodities have a high value in use but low exchange value and vice. Part 5: Wealth. Wealth refers to anything which has market value and can be exchanged for money. To be regarded as wealth, a commodity must possess the following characteristics: one, utility; a commodity must have the capacity to satisfy human wants; two, scarcity; a commodity must be scarce in supply in relation to its demand; three, transferability; a commodity should be transferable from person to person as well as place to place; four, externality; a good can be transferred only if it is external to human body. Part six. Personal income earnings received by a person from all sources is called his personal income. Part 7 personal disposable income it is that part of personal income which is left over after payment of direct taxes such as income tax wealth tax. Part 8 economic activity 
Economic activities can be classified into four types which include production, distribution, exchange and consumption. A. Production. Production is creation of utility. There are four factors of production such as land, labor, capital and entrepreneur. B. Distribution. Factors of production claim their rewards of rent, wages, interest and profit through the process of distribution. C. Exchange. It is the give and take between various units in the economy. Exchange refers to sale and purchase of goods and services. In economics, exchange is necessarily a monetary transaction. And D. Consumption. It is making use of goods and services to satisfy human wants. Now, let us understand part B. Macroeconomics. Macro means large or aggregate or total. Macroeconomics is therefore the study of aggregates covering the entire economy such as total employment, national income, national output, total investment, total savings, total consumption, aggregate supply, aggregate demand, general price level ETC. Kenneth Boulding's definition of macroeconomics. Macroeconomics deals not with individual quantities as such, but with the aggregates of these quantities, not with the individual incomes but with the national income, not with individual prices but with the general price level, not with individual output but with the national output. Basic concepts of macroeconomics. 1. National income. This reveals the total economic performance of a nation. It is referred to as the total income of a country. 2. Saving. Saving is that part of income which is not spent currently on consumption. 3. Investment. It refers to creation of capital assets through mobilization of savings, example, machinery, equipment. 4. Trade cycles. Trade cycles are fluctuations in business. They are ups and downs in the overall economic activities caused by inflation and depression respectively. Inflation is a continuous rise in general price level, whereas, depression is a continuous fall in overall pre. 5. Economic growth. Economic growth means an increase in the real national income of the country, over a long period of time. 6. Economic development. It implies economic growth plus progressive changes in certain important variables which determine well-being of the people, like education, health etc.